Hi, I hope if I've done my job. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you here. If I've done what I think I'm going to do, there should be a ticker down here. And if it's not here right now, it should pop up in the, you know, I at least should put one. That's the goal. What will be on the ticker? I mean, you know, if you're reading it, if it exists right now, it doesn't right now. Aspo, welcome to my world featuring, I'm assuming that's Navis, Navis, Navis. <sighs> Take a breath. Get ready to feel what's going on. There's a changing wind. I feel like I got to sit further this way. There's a changing wind. Not just with me. With the youtube verse the, the existence of what is YouTube. It is changing and I'm nervous, but I've been watching and other people are also going through it. So at least I'm not alone. And when things are tough, it does help to know you're not alone. And you are not alone right now watching this K-pop video from Aespa, which hopefully is like, you know, great. Let's go. Ah, oh, that immediately that chord change. Da, 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 da. And then the chord changes on the first, uh, the third raw. Back up, just restart it. That's. Okay, that's a. Uh, that's whatever. That's amazing. The the chords and the melody is like very reminiscent of like I like old school psychedelic shit, which is why I'm saying like it sounds cool. Maybe you don't like it. I think that's it's awesome. But like, where are they gonna go? It's only ten seconds in. It's uh, it's great to make an impact ten seconds into a song. Um, I hit the wrong button. I hit I in case you want to like not hit a button. Okay, so whatever just happened, I hit the letter I. So if you want that to happen on your computer, hit the letter I. What does that do? I can look it up eventually. I have to reiterate it one more time before the song changes because this whole 30 seconds has been the same structure and I want to say again I absolutely love this melody kind of melancholic sound but I assume the song is going to change so I just want to say it one more time in case it changes to something that like I don't like you know Yes. This, uh, I hope you guys like Red Velvet. I love Red Velvet. This reminds me of like some Red Velvet stylings, which I think is amazing. I, th I think it's just, oh. I don't like it because it sounds like Red Velvet. I like it because it's great. And it does remind me of some of the older stuff. Like Sunny Side Up. It's not exactly, you know, just reminiscent of. Oh, wow. My watch is listening to me talk. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> That this whole vibe is my vibe. This is my favorite Aespa song. Like, it's just like weird enough 
with a cool enough sounds between the melody and the chords and the rhythm, um, the percussion and the guitar licks that like, it's, but the video doesn't look sad, but the music kind of sounds like, not sad, but like contemplative. Is it contemplative or contemplative? The repeated lines were like one person said something and the next person said something. What was awesome about that, in my opinion, is those were not exact repetitions. So some were moved down for harmonic purposes, like to have a harmony, but some were actually just different melodies because of how far they've been moved down. I don't know how to make that make sense if you don't know what I'm talking about. But when you move, when you move melodies down that could possibly be a harmony, if you move far enough away from where you started, the actual melody can't be exact because what would normally be a correct note becomes a wrong note. I mean, that's probably like, I don't know. That, that probably didn't help, sorry. <laughs> That is definitely my favorite track from them for sure. But just certain music rings true with other people than it would with yourself. So probably I'm taking a random guess that if you do listen to them and you've listened to a bunch of their songs, probably your favorite song is not this song. But I absolutely, I think this song is awesome. I, I give it 10, 10 out of 10, perfect 10, great video, fantastic song. Oh, they didn't dance, did they? They didn't dance. So apparently, right, I can like, just because I like dancing in one video doesn't mean it's required for a video to be amazing. I just thought the actual look of the video and the sound, ah, oh, the sound, the orchestral strings coming in. I thought I did quite a lot. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else really to say. Okay, I, I gotta tell you though, I gotta tell you. Um, I made a really weird video the other day. Don't worry, I won't tell you which one. So that way I don't have to ask you to go watch it. Um, and I made a ridiculous joke at the end. It's not, and it's not a joke I came up with, it's a joke I stole. I didn't know I was gonna say it, but I, would, I did this very, very weird ending. And I said something about judgment. And here's the joke I stole. But I've only read the jokes. I don't know how it's delivered. I've only, you know, seen it on the paper. But it's like, before you judge someone, walk a mile in their shoes. Because at least if things go wrong, you're a mile away. And you've got their shoes. I don't even think that's exactly how it's written. But that's basically the premise of the joke. Anyways, someone responded to that very seriously without realizing it's a joke which is kind of funny to me it's funny to me it's funny to me i'm also doing hand gestures that you can't see i realized like if I, 
But make sure, like, if you're going to make a gesture, like, huh? Well, I did it right there. That hand, you can't see it. Oh, there it is. If you look over here, what you'll see is the box where the video goes. This is how Weathered Man, I guess, works. Like, we got a high pressure area moving to a low pressure area. And in time, we will have circular clouds moving away from us and towards the video. Shout out Weatherman.